I want to talk to you today about Christians and divorce. You know, God is very adamant, very clear in the Bible when he talks about divorce. He says, divorce, I hate it. Simple as that. God hates divorce. However, in his loving kindness and his mercy and his grace, he allowed and put an allotment in the word of God for us, but he only said it because he knew that our hearts were hard. God told Moses, and he wrote a certificate that you would, he would allow him to write a certificate of divorce simply because he knows that the hearts of men are hard and they were just simply going to do it. But ultimately, God is completely against it. But does that make it wrong for, for us as, as believers if you happen to get into the, uh, the divorce? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise anyone to simply because we know God's viewpoint upon it. We cannot condemn. We must be careful not to condemn our brothers and sisters that go through divorce. You see, there's a lot of things that can lead up to a divorce and marriage. And so we oftentimes we don't know the whole situation and we don't know the whole story. True, God hates it. But at the same time, God allowed and put into place uh, an allotment for it, you know. And so I think that we should, above all things, seek peace because peace is, is, is what holds uh, the people together. Uh, we at all times should not seek to break what God has put together, which is what the Bible says, let man not break asunder what, what I have put together. And so when we do those things and, and we uh, keep love as a number one foundation and we continue to esteem others better than ourselves, it is then uh, our, our prayer, at least, that love can continue and that relationships will continue and that there will be no divorce. You know, it's sad to say that the, the rates for divorce are very high in Christendom just as much as they are in the world. And why is that? It's simply because people are not honoring covenant. Again, you know, is God going to, is mad and he's going to strike us down with lightning bolts and things like that? No. But I believe if we really want the heart of God, then we would do and put forth every effort to maintain godly relationships and simply to fight for our marriages, as, as God told Nehemiah to, to tell the people, fight for your wives, fight for your brothers, your sisters, your sons and your daughters. Simply fight. And if we put up that fight with God upon our side because we know that he's all for healthy, long marriages, then we'll win every time.